Welcome to the installation and configuration guide for the Rolex Zura Intelligent EV Charger. Inside the box you will find one Zura EV charge point, one Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag, one CT clamp, one fixing kit suitable for brick and concrete walls, and one installation and operation manual. For tethered lead versions, the package will include one holster, complete with fixing kit, for each tethered lead. Establish a suitable site location for the unit and determine where power and other cables will enter the charge point. The Zura features two cable entry points on the bottom and one on the back for rear entry. Release the front fascia from the charge point by pushing the clip at the bottom towards the body of the unit. Remove the fascia and place it face up in a safe location. Turn the charge point over to remove the mounting bracket. First, remove the two fasteners from the bottom of the unit, then slide the mounting bracket towards the bottom to remove it. Place the mounting bracket onto the wall and make sure it is level and vertical. For any rear entry cabling, make sure the power cable and any other required cables will pass through the large aperture when secured to the wall. Use the holes of the mounting bracket to mark the positions where it will be secured to the wall. Using the marked positions, drill appropriate holes in the wall for the fixings being used. Insert the wall plugs and secure the mounting bracket to the wall. Remove and retain the panel fasteners and carefully lift the security boundary panel away from the enclosure. Disconnect the smart board and LED status indicator connectors to separate the panel. Remove and relocate the cable gland covers in line with the required cable entry positions. Fit the charge point onto the mounting bracket and secure it using the two bracket fasteners at the bottom of the unit. Route the incoming cables through the chosen entry point and seal with an appropriate cable gland. Connect the supply cable to the live, neutral and earth terminals. If you are installing a three-phase Zura, connect the supply cable to the L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth terminals. If required, connect the Ethernet cable to the smart board. If load balancing is required, install the CT clamp by positioning it around the live cable between the meter and the consumer unit. Make sure the arrow on the clamp points in the direction of electrical flow towards the consumer unit. Route the CT clamp cable back to the charge point and connect it to the CT connector on the charge controller PCB. Connect the red cable to the H plus terminal and the black cable to the H minus terminal on the connector. For three-phase units, position the CT clamps around the L1, L2 and L3 cables between the meter and the consumer unit. Make sure the arrows on the clamps point in the direction of electrical flow towards the consumer unit. Route all three cables back to the charge point and connect them to the CT connector on the three-phase extension PCB in the order shown. For charge points with tethered cables, you will also need to install one holster for each charging plug. Position the holster in the desired location and make sure it is level and vertical. Use the holes of the holster as a guide to mark the positions where it will be secured to the wall. Using the marked positions, drill appropriate holes in the wall for the fixings being used. Insert the wall plugs and secure the holster to the wall. Loosely coil the tethered cable and hang it on the holster. Connect the charge plug to the holster. Make sure a remote consumer unit has been installed in an appropriate location to supply power to the charge point. The consumer unit must contain appropriately rated protective devices for the power output that will be configured on the charger. Reconnect the smart board and LED status indicator connectors and power up the unit. Make sure all required tests have been performed in accordance with the current legislation, and, once you are satisfied the installation is complete, close the charge point using the panel fasteners and replace the fascia. Once the charge point has been installed, you will need to configure it using the Rolex EV Connect app. For more information, watch the Rolex EV Connect configuration guide video.